grapes on her head with weighing scales and it was one kilo for 30,000 real. Wait, that's like seven and a half dollars for a kilogram. Wow. Just, for, just figured that out. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, good job I said no. It's quite a lot of money. Grapes are expensive here though. So we're just walking round past the village where our hotel is, round the corner. We're going to Nest. And then we're going to walk past Nest now because Nest doesn't start yet. And we're going to go see some dogs in the water. I think it's called Monkey Bar. Funky Beach. Funky Beach. Monkey Bar. Funky, Funky Bar. Funky, that's why. Funky Bar. Go check it out. Actually, they're not going to be for like 60 feet. Nothing really for an island like this. There's literally nobody on this whole beach. Look, empty. Empty. So we spoke to a lot of people staying in the hostels down this road, what nests on, not road, but beach. And all their powers have been out for the past two nights straight. No water, no electricity. They've slept outside because they have no fan and no aircon. I thought our room was bad with a fan. But yeah. And then more money, the hostels, so you can just stay in the village where it's cheaper food, cheaper drinks, 50 cent a draft beer, $2, $3 a meal. But the hostels charge a lot, lot more because you can only eat there. You can't really walk to the village in the dark because it's literally pitch black. So people say Karang's expensive, but it's cheaper than Kampot. dragon fruit smoothie 75p on an island and um, we're just on the home foot of the hotels because we're going to stay a couple more days we have a barbecue tonight so cheap here so good bikes casually driving on the beach
<laughs> We're on an island, it's thundering and raining. We're in the sea. <laughs> The sea's warmer than being out the sea. <laughs> There's not much else to vlog really because it's just a peaceful island with cheap food and cheap drink and that's about it. I'm not doing any activities so we haven't got much to really put into this video. What do you think of Koh Rong, Izzy? I love it. It is bliss. It is just bliss. Definition. Cheap food, cheap drink. Everyone's saying it's ex expensive here. That's because they're just sat in the hostels on the other side of the island. Yeah. Here in this village, cheap food and the food is massive. So much so food. Good. Izzy can even finish her food. <laughs> All Western food. It's Kaima so food's good. the same price as Western food as well, so you can pick whatever you want. Um, beer's still 50 cent, 75 cent. One dollar. Yeah. $1.25 Like, everyone's saying it's expensive here, it's cheaper than what we've spent in Campot Yeah Which is a small town full of old men That's why it's more expensive, because it's full of old men So yeah, island life, cheaper than inland life <laughs> so we're going to get a barbecue tonight but it doesn't look like we're going to get a barbecue they're still trying to cook them <laughs> But as you can see, it's not very nice to sit outside and have a nice barbecue today. So maybe tomorrow because we've extended our stay. We've got a nicer hotel for you for tomorrow. Bigger, better, private bathroom a lot for the same price. And I wish we kind of stayed there before instead of this place we've stayed at which has been near not very good. The restaurant's really good though, they yeah. got really nice food there. whole beach to ourselves again. It's like we've got the whole island to ourselves. That's what it feels like. The water's warm. See, it's not actually that warm today. It's still about 30 degrees, but it doesn't feel like 30 degrees. Let's go in the water. <laughs> it's, like, it's like getting into a hot tub bath, yeah. It's warmer in the water. It's crazy. Oh, it's <laughs> so warm. Ah, oh my god! Wow, so we can't see anything. We're kind of like, I can barely see the other island over there. Oh my god, you've got, <laughs> Izzy's just got in fully clothed. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it here. That's so funny. That's so cheap, so funny. Being cheap makes it even better. <laughs> and then <laughs> nobody here as well. Literally there's two other people in the water right now. That's it. And then when you go around to the other beaches, there's no one there too. But tomorrow we're going to have a walk around to the other beaches we haven't been to. And explore some of the island and show you guys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no. 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 Hello, little doggy. 
Jones. So we've moved hotels. We're gonna have a walk around the island today. A couple hour jungle trek instead of going in the sea again. Um, all I'm eating here is Western food because it's the same price as Karma food. Um, new, these chips are unbelievable. And we moved hotels. Hello guys, so today we decided to take a stroll around the island but on foot and not hire a motorbike. These are the roads that we've seen at the minute anyway. And yeah, we're just going to go to Soxan Beach on the other side of the island and uh, go for a swim, maybe. Look around. Definitely go for a swim. Yeah, it's quite hot. It's sweaty. Yeah. And the floor's quite slippy. Oh, here we have a bike. I mean, let's see how they get through. Okay, they're just... Ah, uh, they've bottled it, I think. Oh... Oh, they're getting off. Maybe that was the most sensible option. And we've got massive houses here. Not massive houses, but you know what I mean. Everyone drinks beer. Lots of people actually like sleeping in these conditions. It's crazy. Royal Caron Development Company Port. Looks like. A crash crane? Oh, I don't know. It's pretty. It's like a, yeah, it's strange. Yeah, I'm not too sure. So we spoke to some guy last night. Basically, we said Chow Moy as we walked past, which is Cheers in partner, and um, they invited us in for drinks. We ended up staying there for two or three hours. They had cute dogs, puppies, and. Um, yeah, he was telling us that the Chinese are building an airport on Long Beach and they're building a seven-storey casino as well. Right, why does an island need a casino? And an airport as well because it's all jungle, so yeah. Just going to be destroying forest to build a casino for no reason. And they've already started building, they've already started construction, I'm assuming what that that's what this all is, maybe. No Cambodians want to um, have a casino and they also won't gamble. It's just for Chinese. So here we have Ho Rong Salom. I think I said it right. Um, I don't think we're even going to go to that island. We're just going to stay here a few more nights. So we've been here for three nights now. Looking for two more nights, that's five nights cheaper here than inland so let's stay here for a bit well we've been walking for about an hour now <laughs> and we haven't even got to the next beach this island is big it's huge you definitely need a moped if you're coming to go to around other beaches because it is far and it's hot and it's sweaty yep 
We've done like a four mile round the coast walk. So the sea at Soxan Beach is a lot more blue compared to the sea where we are, Karong Beach. I think maybe Karong Beach has a lot of boats. It's polluted, I don't know, but it's, it's nothing like this. This is very, very blue, turquoise colour. And also this beach over here, which you go for a swim with big waves at the minute, so yeah, cool down after that hour walk. Yeah, as you can see behind me, a lot of rubbish. So like, yeah, it looks nice from here, but here, rubbish everywhere. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. And I'm, on our walk here, there was just rubbish everywhere, abandoned buildings everywhere. It's hard to see your island turning to like a more of a tip. You know? Oh, there's hundreds. Yeah. Okay, we need to leave the beach. We just got to the beach where there's millions of sandflies attacking us and stinging us non stop. Oh, so many. It's on my back right now, it's stinging like. Oh, fucking hell. It's just like, there they are, look. We thought we'd be safer here. But because of all the rubbish everywhere, I think that's mainly why they're here. There's hundreds. And it's been raining. And they're just not coming off and they're stinging me. Ah, they're on the fucking belly. It says online, keep moving and use spray. We're moving. As you see, there's like an abandoned building here. House there, which we don't know if it's abandoned or not. The sea looks amazing. We want to go in, but there's just rubbish everywhere. And the vampire. There's, there's millions of them. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but there's so many around my head. And we just walked all this way to get attacked by sand flies. That's why no one's here on There's no one on this beach there. at all. And there's a pillow on the floor. As you can see, there's like rubbish in the water as well. For God's sake, all the way here. And you literally cannot sit on the floor because you're getting bit. Oh. Well. See, it looks nice. But you can see that it's covered in rubbish as well, all the bits of rubbish inside. All this is rubbish and shells, bottles. We found a snake. There is a snake. Oh my god. There is a snake. It's got. It's got a. It's got plastic around its head. Well, we're not swimming in here then. We try to show you guys and ourselves something more entertaining and a new beach but there's obviously snake infested waters and rubbish infested waters but I mean we've enjoyed our time here so far at the beach we have near us yeah, it's a shame really I'm not sure if, if all this rubbish comes in from the sea and gets washed up here I'm not sure where it comes from but there is an infinite amount of rubbish. Uh, this is probably the most landfilled, is that the word? Landfilled beach I've ever seen. It's crazy. It's just one person on this beach. This one woman just sat here now, probably being bitten. Um,
Okay, so we're going to go in the sea. I'm trying to get bit by crabs and sea snakes. Because this part of the beach is a bit nicer. So we failed. We got to Soxan Beach. Obviously just showed you a snake, rubbish, and um, was going to see a little bit. And that was all we can do really without a motorbike. And we thought we could cut through here because on maps it says you can cut through different ways, but we don't see a path. And it's just a huge jungle. So we've got to walk all the way we've just done again, which took us like an hour, so two hours of walking, but at least we've done some exercise, eh? There's loads of puppies on here. This is the mum for the black one. So it's absolutely chucking it down right now. All of a sudden the dog's taking shelter under my legs. I can't leave because it'll get soaked. She's hiding under me. Keep it in charge. A slab of carrot cake mm. and sit on here all night. Just booked an extra two nights, so we're staying here for six nights altogether. This hotel's so much better than the first one we stayed in, so it's all good. So, this hotel comes with a mosquito net. So, let's try it out for the first time. I've never been under one of these before. <laughs> Izzy gets bit all the time, though, so maybe it stops her getting bit. <laughs> we came back to see the dog. Oh, yeah. 
Who's that? Oh, this is you. That's you. So we just found a sky bar where you have to climb five stories upstairs to get to. Apparently there's a bar crawl starting tonight at 8 o'clock as well, but mm, I'm not who so knows? sure. Who knows? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been on this island for six days now, and we don't know what to do. So you've got to see who could have built, which is apparently raided by Chinese, just Chinese buildings everywhere, Chinese casinos everywhere, and everything's more expensive. But we've been offered to stay here for four more nights for just two pounds each a night. So we can stay here for two pounds, get breakfast for two pounds, get dinner for two pounds, get beer for 50p, 40p. So potentially we could spend seven pounds a day food and accommodation and drink. So we may stay for another four days. What do you reckon, Izzy? I've got no idea. I feel like it's going to be a last minute split decision, but yeah. I haven't packed yeah. either. And we can't be asked to leave, so it's either leave in the morning or book four more nights for £8.40 each, I think. Crazy. And this hotel's great. <laughs> Just come for a few beers tonight and they've offered us barbecue as well Free. and we've been paying 40p for one beer each so barbecue and three beers each for one dollar fifty one dollar fifty each less than that yeah one dollar fifty each right one pound twenty for three beers a jacket potato <laughs> and a Skewer? It's getting ridiculous now. I don't know what to say, but these prices are blowing my mind every single day, and it's getting cheaper and cheaper the more we say. So, mm. So those people are fishing. They actually have to go underwater with goggles, to see where the prawns are, and they and catch the them with a net. Lovely. They catch it all by hand. They don't even use fishing rods. Old school. But it's easier to do it that way. They get they get a lot in one. Today we are jungle exploring. Walk around. We've seen a millipede so far. What else can we see? Hello. 
No, you don't. Get your head out of there. <laughs> Just like laid on my feet. Oh, no. Believe it or not, but this is a different dog. in the six dwarves. <laughs> he, he ran off. Well, these ones are okay. Oh! <laughs> Don't get me now. Chamoy, 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 chamoy. Okay. Chamoy. I didn't, I, it. I didn't know you had two. B, B. B. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. You pay like one. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Hello. Che chu ba rai te. Moi cha moi cha moi cha moi bom cha moi bom cha moi. It's got the toenails and everything. This comes in a packet. Oh yeah. Take a bite. Uh, not just the nail. Oh, the heart is falling too. Yeah, I'm in love with your body. All about it when I see you again. When I see you again. Sean Moy. Sean Moy. Damn. Who knew? All the planes we flew. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Chalmoy, Chalmoy. So guys, we're just boarding the ferry back to Suhukaville. We're going to spend a night there and check out what's happening there. I um, hope you've enjoyed the Caravan vlog. I think this is going to be in two vlogs, so enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.